Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the smallest Class C's and one of the best priced Class C motorhomes you can buy for 2022. This is a 2022 Coachman Crosstrail Model 22XG on a Chevy chassis. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to be showing you guys small and price point class C's. But before I begin, we do have to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everyone! How's it going? It's going good guys. We are here, uh, we are in Texas. Yes! At Motorhome Specialist. Yes! And we are excited because we, we have more RVs that you know, we get to review that you guys want to see. Little ones and Little more, ones more, more inexpensive. more economical. Yes, so yes. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Yeah, and I'm enjoying Texas. What about you, Andrea? Uh, it's a little cold. Yeah. Let's begin. Model is 22XG. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet 9 inches. This is the Coachman Cross Trail. This was called the Coachman Cross Trek last year. Now it's called the Cross Trail 22XG. Something to notice, you can get this unit on three different chassis. You can get it on the uh, Ford Transit chassis, which we'll probably do later this week. You can get it on a E350 series. And then this one right here on the Chevy 4500. This is a 6.6 .6 liter V8 Chevy 4500 chassis, okay? Very unique, Andrea. I do love how it does have the side cameras right there. Oh, nice. Uh, years past, I have not seen that they had side cameras <laughs> on it. And then as Andrea was showing you, it does have a bunk over the cab. It's something about the cross treks, which is a little different from the Coachman Leprechauns and the Freelanders, is it is a little bit of a smaller bunk over the cab. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're general tires. I love those. They are the uh, 225-75 R16. Very nice with the shiny rims. Coming on up here, you do have your mirrors here, and then just your regular Chevy chassis cab area. Coming on down the side here, uh, you do have a nice power awning. You know what, Andrea? We're gonna take a look at that when it's all the way out. Andrea, very nice power awning with LED lights. There's so much stuff going on here in this little motor home, I'm really excited. First and foremost, Coachman uses Asdel, which is a green-based composite that will never delaminate on you. I love that. Right over here, prep for a TV on the nice. outside. Um, got the coax GFI right there. Okay, right here, Andre, it's going to be your propane tank. And then right here on the screen, bing, Jen, it will insert the specs from the manufacturer's website. Thank you, Jen. Right there, Andrea, we do have the solar right there. Um, you do want to have a little solar panel on the outside. Nice LED lights under the awning. Little spray port right here, water heater. And coming on down the side here is a propane quick connect. And electrical outlet. Yes, coming around the back. Oh, dang, nabbit, Andrea, no ladder to get up on the oh, roof. Oh, wow. Why didn't we bring our U-step through TSA? I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> why. Backup camera right there. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. But Andrea, this is why this motorhome's so awesome. You guys ready for this? No, hang on a second. Sorry about that. Oh, Andrea. Bikes, kayaks, e-bikes, little scooters, whatever you Got want to store rings. back here, you have D-rings. The bed flips up and then it's so spacious back here. You know what I'm saying? Also, I love that there's a screen on it too. Yeah. On the door. Yeah, no, oh yeah, even cooler. There is the screen here. So if you are at like Zion National Park or the Badlands, and you want a nice cool breeze, you can keep this and uh, keep the door open for that awesome fresh nature experience. <laughs> Finishing up, 
Look at that. Still, you get some storage on the outside. I love this. Pretty good. Yes, ma'am. Right there is where you dump your black and gray tank. Very nice. Right over here is where you fill up your fuel, unleaded. Okay, here's all your connections. Um, I don't like how it's exposed, but I do like how it's all in the same area, 30 amp and everything. And again, this is just a price point unit. Check that out, more storage. Okay. Yes. And that would be our generator? Yes, generator right here. This is going to be a Onan. 4,000? 4,000, yes ma'am. All right. That, look at that truck, show that truck. That's the Black Widow. That's actually an awesome truck. Thank you! <laughs> hey, nice. I love your truck! Nice. That's funny. Yeah, it is. I knew he watched us on YouTube because he has an awesome looking truck. <laughs> and awesome looking truck people approve of Matt's RV reviews. Definitely. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right, oh, that's not a skip. What is oh, that? That's a truck. Is that the Fox Trot? <laughs> that's the Cowboy Trot. All right, let's get our cargo. No slides in this, everyone. So what you see is how it is all the time. Andrea, 2,810 pounds. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, look at this. No slides in here, plenty of space. Look, plenty of, I can get through here, no problem. You got your fridge, you got your bed there. Here's this garage area. And there's the bathroom. Okay. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Great, thanks so much. Now Andrea, this motorhome, so many people want van life, right? And I get that. And everybody always asks me, Matt, why don't you like van life? This is why literally for fifty thousand dollars less you can get all this and yeah. it's not that much wider when you drive it's like this much wider you know maybe like this much wider this is why it's units like this for the reason why i don't like van life andrea let's get started with this cockpit area <clears throat> now personally for me personally i am a fan of the E450 chassis. This is the Chevy 4500, and a lot of times they'll put it on the E350 chassis. I'm not a super big fan of the E350. I want the bigger 450. So I feel like this is a better chassis than the E350. Now the E450 will be the best. But right here, it's just different. It's Chevy, Andre. Not everybody wants Ford, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We got your mirrors right here. Um, everything, your cameras uh, will show right there. Left side, right side, and reverse side. And then cup holders there. And then Andrea, sit in the co-captain's seat. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. It feels different. It's- It's different. Yeah, it is. It's, it's comfortable. 
And I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like I have more leg space. Yeah. Is yeah. that weird? Nope. Nope. That's how I feel as well. Yeah. And look at that. You, you do have more yes. back space I can as well. definitely recline this back. Yeah, for and sure. And take a nap if I want to. Yep. And then Andrea, so. do you notice anything about the AC unit? It's um, cranked all the way up to the heat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is up with that? Oh, it's so cold here. <laughs> right. I thought Texas was warm like Florida. No, it's the southern part. Okay. Oh. She's got a nice bunk over the cab here. Yeah, I believe it's only three... whole... No. Oh, oh 800. wow. 800? 800 oh, pounds. Oh, my goodness. Let, let me see that. Wow. Now, Andre, I'm not going to lie to you. That might be an error. So make sure you guys check first. Yeah, that's crazy. 800 that pounds. Because awfully small. Right. And it does have the little seat belt there. I love that. I like that for safety and privacy curtain. Not just that, for storage, Andrea. Oh, yeah. Cut. This is a small motorhome, so you could store stuff up there, and it's not going to roll back and hit you in the head while you're yeah. driving. And As Andrea said, there's a TV right there. Okay. And then just a little bit of storage. And then check this out. Nope. This is a U-shaped dinette, okay? But also... It's a J-shaped one, I'll put that in. Yes, there exactly. You go. I love that. When it's out, it does drop down to make a bed. Oops. Nice storage above. Show that Big one, please. Cabinets. Okay, and then we've got... Big windows. Big windows. No, I and hate this, these. Yeah, I don't like well, How do you feel about this? They're okay, you know, okay. they're neutral. I hate the blinds, Cup though. Cup holders. Yes. Okay. Yes. And um, there is a little bit of storage underneath this drawer. Awesome. Now, Andrea, can you show us the kitchen? And there's a car seat tether right there. Oh, too. very nice. Yes, absolutely. And before we show you the kitchen, we do want to remind everybody that we are now with RVR which is a nationwide network of RV dealerships. That's why we're here at Motorhome Specialist. Any motorhome in the entire world, if you're ready to buy, go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out the first contact tab. I will personally oversee it that you get with somebody from my team and they're gonna get you a phenomenal deal. Andrea, show everybody this kitchen. Okay, look at this. Um, I always thought this was a little bit strange because it's elevated, yep. but it is what it is. You've got, oh, cabinets up here. Okay. We've got this double sink here. Yes. Uh, oh, look, they give you drawers, but you I'm gotta happy. push in, push in. There we yeah. go. It's a little bit hard still to open. Um, and then we got the cabinet under here. Yes, ma'am. Trash can. And then another one up here. Okay. Okay. And let's see what we got here. We got a microwave. Certainly. And we've got a magic chef. Ooh, magic chef. Three burner propane cooktop. With the light, lit up lights. Yeah, with the magic chef oven. Yes, very, very nice. nice. And oh, you missed one. What did I miss? Oh, Down there. No. They're just hard to open right now because they're it's, new. It's no, because it's cold. Because <laughs> it's so cold. Is that why? Yeah. And then, oh, I guess this could be your wardrobe okay. slash pantry. Yep, yep. And then another drawer here. Okay. And then we've got the little chintzy there. What did that fall off the uh the track? Yeah. Um, I think it's not on right. Yeah, it's so not they on the need track. To put it back on the track. Don't worry, they'll do that here. And then here we have the uh, compressor fridge. Compressor fridge. I always do this whenever we see these, which would run off your inverter, right? Andre, yes. Phenomenal size. And then there is a drawer down there. Show us. Wow, amazing. Right. And then entering this bedroom. So first, before I put this bed down, watch your head. Yeah, I see it. Very nice. Good storage right there. And then I was telling Andrea to watch her head from the- uh, Leg. Leg bed. The leg bed. <laughs> oh, Matt. I don't know what it's called. Okay, and then is there a lock over there? So it's always somewhere here. So we had to pause there. Uh, some fans came in and said hi, and they actually helped me because I couldn't get this down myself. So here's what happened. So, and this is what you want to be careful for. The latches are right there, okay? And what the people did before us, they closed this up, and the it matches got part got stuck. And I couldn't get it, but the, uh, the nice people helped us. There so when go. it's up, then it's like this, and then when it comes down, it is like this. Very nice. Corner bed, very decent size. You see this? Very nice. 
And then, even though this is a corner bed, if I don't feel like I'm really tight in the corner, I feel like I could exit this way if Andrea was right over here, and then Andrea could exit that way. I feel like, yeah, I feel like there's, it's not like some of the other corner beds. Correct. I've know? seen, I've seen more tighter corners. And then we have a coax up there, you guys. For a TV? To yeah, mount a TV. And I like that window there. And there's also a little opening for a fan there. Yes. And then over here, okay, small bathroom, small motorhome. Uh, this looks like... Let me see that. Little tiny a step up. 24 by 30 shower. Small. Oh, and Andre, guess what? It gets the job done. Okay? Nice. They got the ladder right in here. Nice little... Okay, I am going to show this. There's sink. the sink. There's a cabinet there. Yep. And then we have one right here. Very nice. Okay. And then Andrea... Patty corner toilet. This I don't think this one's going to get it. I don't think so. No, I know it's not. Plastic. Hold womp, on. Womp. I'm stuck on the door here. Uh oh. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see. oh, can you even close it? Yeah, I can close it, but it's it's not a prime poop position. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, we do have to give everybody the MSRP. But before we do the MSRP, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it, Andrea. What should we do first? Three things that we dislike about it. I actually have all three okay if you don't have one. no that's fine okay first one i'm gonna say tight bathroom yes okay plastic toilet tight bathroom even though it was a tight bathroom they didn't need to put a plastic toilet they could have put a porcelain toilet but because the cargo carry capacity was so high that's number one number two newfound discovery the little lock mechanism it is a pain in the butt to fold it up with the comforter on because it could get stuck there again and nobody wants to remake their bed every time you know what i'm saying right so that's number two and then andrea number three i will say i do not like these whatsoever uh what are these called shades shades not a fan of them very Lines. quick that's easy i'm pulling the band-aid right off that's three things we don't like about it andrea now it's time for three things we love about this do you mind if I go first? No, go ahead. I mean, you're shaking your head. Uh, uh, yeah, Can you I give first. you all three? If you want to, yeah. I mean, do you have one that's... I have one. Well, well, then you go first. Okay, well, my one, I have to say, I think this back door is so awesome. Yes. With, and with the screen. Yes. It's amazing. I would just love to sleep here at night. Yep. And just look out at the stars. Yep. And just have the fresh breeze, like, on me. That is so relaxing. It's so funny because the also the fact that the bed flips up and you have those D-rings. Yes. I love that. That is number one. Absolutely. Andrea, number two, you ready for this? Yeah. Didn't I make this bathroom my dislike? You did. I'm also gonna make it my like. Oh, what the heck do you mean? How can a dislike be your like? If I'm comparing this unit to a class C, which I did for my dislikes, I do not like this bathroom. Whereas, if I compare this to a class B, I love that bathroom. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a crummy bathroom when you compare it against class C's, but a great bathroom when you compare it against class B's. So that's number two, and then Andrea. Number three, oops, if you're switching me. Again, I'm going to say this whole layout. This much, Andrea, it's wider than a class B by this much. You actually get a living room, a J lounge, a U-shaped dinette. You actually get a kitchen. You get a real size fridge. You get a little bedroom and a little bathroom and a bunk over the cab. Also, also, while being $50,000 cheaper than a Class B. With no slides. With no slides. I absolutely love that. Well, that's it. That's the review, Andrea. It's now time we give everybody the MSRP. They've waited long enough. M MSRP is 106.279 i love that sale price i can't tell you the sale price on youtube but motorhome specialist does have sale price listed what? in andrea it is phenomenal and that's why we partner with rvr and motorhome specialist and all their dealerships so listen if you're ready to buy this unit and you want to know what that bottom line sale price is and you want to buy one of these it doesn't matter andrea 
If you live in Florida, Texas, California, uh, New York, doesn't matter. Go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact tab. That's going to take you to the Matt Cash form. Fill out that form and I'm going to have somebody from my team reach out to you to get you the best price in America on this. And more importantly, Andre, it's not just going to be the best price, it's going to be the best service and everything. Is there anything you'd like to say? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Coachman does read the comments. Yes. So they want to see your, your feedback. Um, I hope you guys are all safe and well. Thank you to Motorhome Specialists yes. for being here today. And I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.